All right, let's look at this 1936 MB3. And before we do that, uh, if you like these videos, go ahead and subscribe to us. Just click the subscribe button. So here's what this banjo sounds like. <laughs> So that's that one. So I'll uh, play another song up the next. So, um, this banjo is made out of maple, and I'll, I'll show it to you. And uh, this originally was a Gibson uh, mandolin banjo, and all it is is just a three, model three, as though it would have an original five string neck or a tenor or plectrum neck, and occasionally they would put a mandolin neck on it. So, we just take the neck off of it and put on a. Uh, original, not an original, but a five-string neck. This particular one was made by Steve Huber. And, uh, of course, it had a mandolin tailpiece on it, so we put a, this is actually a new uh, Pruca Presto here. Um, but you can see it's got the original armrest. All the parts are original, all the metal parts are original, with the exception of the tailpiece. And uh, I'm going to uh, actually, we'll look up the uh, neck here, and you can see uh, it's flying eagle pattern. And I actually played this banjo for about two years, sold it to a friend of mine. He played it for about two years, and then he wanted something else. So I was very happy to get this banjo back. This is one of the better sounding banjos that I've ever owned. In fact, it might be the best of the what I call conversions. All right, now, you'll notice that this looks like a one, okay, because it's uh, dark maple. But let me show you something inside. This is actually a true master tone. So we'll take the, uh, the screws off of this. One more left there. And uh, this also has an HR30 Uber ring in it, and that's the ring that we actually prefer. And the neck and the um, tone ring were hand-fit by Steve Huber. Now, the main thing that's significant about this is this is a master tone, which means it came with a raised head ring in it. It also had two coordinator rods. Okay, that's a couple things that are different than a one. Now, Uber, Steve Uber has done a lot of research, uh, says this, when you have a raised head tone ring on a banjo, it keeps the shell perfectly thin, not thin, but perfectly round, doesn't warp. And when you put a newer ring on it, the fit is better and it makes a little difference in the sound. There's also a theory that possibly the rims they used on the threes were slightly, slightly better, okay? Even a difference of three or four percent, if you're an experienced player, will make a big difference. Okay, so once again, looking at the, the resonator, you can see the resonator's all original finish in what we call good, very good shape. Uh, the uh, inside of the resonator, you can see that the chalk 
is still there. Okay, you can see matching serial numbers, and of course inside the uh, banjo you have that matching serial number. Okay, so th there aren't a whole lot of these MB3s, these maple banjos, and we've only had two of them in uh, about uh, three and a half years of being in business, and uh, both of them are extraordinary. We almost think that these are the best of the threes. Um, most of the threes are mahogany. So the maple does give it a, just a little more clarity and a little more bass response. So um, if you have an interest in this banjo, give us a call at 404-372-5482. Uh, that would be Andy, okay? You can go to banjowarehouse.com and get more uh, pictures and more description of the banjo. If you want to come visit us, we're starting to get a lot of visitors. Uh, uh, just give us a call the day before because we might be out uh, looking for banjos. But we live close by, so uh, if you want to come by on an evening, come by Saturday or Sunday, just let us know so we'll be here. We do have some people now occasionally fly in. We're seven minutes from the Atlanta airport. So long story short, if you want a great banjo and you want to hear different banjos, come visit us. So if you have any questions, give us a call, and we hope you guys have a great day.